What's up, Facebook? I'm in the middle of Mexico. And I'm live at this crazy pyramid called Chichen Itza. There's a bunch more stuff behind me. I'm not sure how good the signal's gonna be out here, but I wanted to try and live stream just for like a few minutes and say hello. I haven't tried to do a live stream in Mexico yet when I wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi at the hotel, so I'm not sure how good it's gonna work. So I drove like two and a half hours from the resort to get here. All right, let's flip the camera. There's the big pyramid. There's still a bunch over there I gotta check out. A few people coming on, what's up Felix? All right, we're gonna walk around a little bit. Now the sun's coming out. What's up, Madeline? No, we're not in Guatemala, we're in Mexico. <clears throat> Guatemala is on my list to go visit because they have another place, kind of like this called Tikal that I want to go see. But not on this trip, that's gonna be, uh, gonna be a separate one. What's up, Derek? Derek says, get the Jaguar whistle. Man, they're blowing those things like all over the place. I actually find it kind of annoying. <laughs> like every, there's a million little, little sh shops here and they're all blowing the Jaguar whistles. I mean, just everywhere there's a little shop there, a shop there, like the whole place is surrounded in these shops. And every single person is just like, amigo, amigo, trying to get you to come and buy stuff from, from him. <laughs> Little trinkets and whistles and stuff like that. Madeline says, oh, okay, yes, Tikal. I'll take you there. You'll take me there. Do you live in Guatemala? Maybe I'll, I'll hire you to be my tour guide. All right, let's go look at another one. Ooh, a few more people just came on. If you're tuning in, we're down in Mexico looking at some pyramids and ancient ruins. Here's another one. Hey, what's up, John Tetro? Let's go inside here. Some of the places in here, they have, it's like, they, they have acoustic properties. So if you speak in one area or you clap in one area, you hear the sound throughout the entire place. Because the people that built this place were very uh, highly advanced with sound waves and frequencies and energies. They were all about resonance. All right, look at this. I got this whole place to myself. What's up, Meryl? John says he's jelly. I'm gonna try to take a selfie in this place since there's no one here and I got it all, all to myself. <laughs> This place is pretty epic. John says, see if there's evidence of mercury underneath. 
you know there probably is um a few years ago when i visited teotihuacan in mexico city which is called the city of the gods underneath the pyramid there they found a whole bunch of liquid metal mercury and what's funny about that is uh liquid metal mercury is used in anti-gravity technology and i think the people that built these things or their gods had that technology that's why they were uh they found all this mercury but you can look this stuff up it's all been like released in these cia documents and stuff but uh liquid metal mercury is used in what's called a, a mercury vortex engine where you rotate the liquid metal mercury in a torus shaped compartment and when it reaches a really high amount of um, rpms it creates this anti-gravity effect and um i believe the, the the military the space program they reverse engineered this stuff so long ago but they got it all from exploring ancient sites and reverse engineering their technology Joel says, keep the good work. Derek says, the ball court. I see the donut. Uh, yeah, that's that's what this is. This is the ball court. You can see, uh, where's the donut? Hang on. And it's, it's right up there. You can see it right there. And there's one right there, too. You see it? What's up, Sabrina? John says, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Yeah, pretty much, I think. Aliens, gods, all the, all the same shit. Aliens on the earth, setting themselves up as gods, getting people to worship them, getting people to submit to their authority, keeping all the technology to themselves, keeping all the money to themselves, kind of like, hmm, the central bankers and the governments. Hmm, I wonder where they got that from. Goes way back. Nothing happens by chance. Meryl says, wow, it's so quiet. Now without all those tourists, when I was there, it was super busy. Aren't you allowed to climb the stairs of the big Maya temple? Um, you mean that one back there? That one's all roped off. They don't want anyone climbing that one. But when I went to Teotihuacan, uh, you could climb all those. That was a few years ago. I have that video on my, uh, on my archeology span channel. John says, not much has changed. No, not really. I mean, the only thing that's changed now is, now, now, now everyone's starting to figure it out. <laughs> everyone's figuring it out that it was some crazy aliens that came here and set up this whole, the whole power structure on the planet, the, the governments, the central banks, everything. All the technology we have today, all the building architecture, all of it, everything from building shit like this to, to rebar, to to metallurgy like it all came from these aliens that came down here and set themselves up as gods there's some great books now that blow the cover on all this stuff that i'm talking about and some of these researchers i follow like they've done so much work to to blow the cover on all this stuff Anyways, I'm going to I'm going to cut the live stream and take some selfies, but it was lovely chatting with you. I got to go. See you later.